guys, welcome back to Gearheads Equipment. Today we're going to talk about the difference in a Genie straight boom and a Genie Z45 or articulating boom. This is the articulating version here. You can see the Z in the boom. And then this is the straight boom or also known as telescoping. Uh, most major manufacturers have, uh, like JLG, do the same thing. They make a telescoping and an articulating. And we're going to walk you through the differences of, uh, of each one and uh, why one might be better for you than the other. All right, so as I said before, these are the, uh, this is the articulating boom here on the left. Uh, this is the straight boom here or telescoping. So other uh, names for this boom, you might hear uh, a Z boom, a knuckle boom. You can kind of see the knuckles going up. Uh, so it does like your finger and knuckle uh, or articulating. Um, and then this is the straight boom here or the telescoping. Uh, basically you can take it straight up in the air or horizontal uh, and it telescopes in and out. Uh, this machine over here can get you to the same height and it can also go horizontal, but it's um, more so made for going up and over something. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit the different positions you can get these into. Um, a lot of people kind of overthink the difference. They, uh, they hear articulating and they think something to do with the tires or, or it being off road or something like that. It's really just the way the boom uh, goes up in the air. So we're going to walk you through each one and hopefully it uh, helps clear any confusion. Uh, and helps you if you're buying one or renting one helps you make uh, the right decision for your job site okay so these two booms are both 2013 so they're pretty similar in the way they look um, as far as controls they pretty much operate the same uh, they're both four-wheel drive both diesel machines um, you can get these in a gas or propane option so they call it we call it a dual fuel uh, basically you can switch between the gas and the propane uh, these, however, are Deutz diesel engine uh, four-wheel drive machines, which are, are pretty popular. Um, we get a lot of people wanting the dual fuel that are, um, they want to work outside, but want the ability to go uh, burn clean on the inside and, and um, not to worry about diesel fumes getting into the air. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, this uh, articulating boom does not have a tail swing on it. There's zero tail swing. So uh, when you're when you're rotating the uh, turret around, you don't have to worry about squishing somebody or, or hitting something or running into a wall. Um, as you do with the, the straight boom, it does have a tail swing. Um, so in that case, uh, I guess you could say the articulating has a little bit smaller footprint when it's brought down um, into the stow or, or uh, shipping position. We will uh, put them side by side here shortly and show you what each one looks like. There's not a major difference when it comes to that. Um, but you'll see the difference pretty clearly. Um, other than that, uh, they, they are both gonna get you to uh, 40 feet in the air. Actually, this articulating one is a 45 footer, but uh, they'll both go straight up into the air. It's, uh, it's really, it boils down to, do you have to get up and over something, uh, that, you know, an obstacle, a, a tree or an awning or, or something like that? That's when the articulating can come into play. Um, but this, uh, this straight boom actually probably has a little bit longer horizontal reach. Uh, we'll show you the differences here shortly. Okay, so now we've got these extended uh, fully upright. Um, as I was saying earlier, the, the machine on the left, the articulating or Z boom actually is a 45 footer. So it, it's actually got five feet on this, on this 40 that's here on the right. But as you can see, they'll both go, uh, straight up in the air. Um, you know, you kind of, at the end of the day, if you're going straight up, they're both going to get it done. Uh, there's really not much difference here. It's just a kind of a different way to get there. So, um, just, you know, just at the end of the day, trying to show everybody that um, there's not a ton of different situations where uh, the articulating uh, is beneficial when you're just going straight up, you know, alongside a building. But as we know, there's always obstacles on a job site. So um, we'll, uh, we'll get them into some other positions and show the advantages and disadvantages of each uh, here in a second.
All right, so this is what I was referring to earlier um, when it, about the uh, articulating being more of an up and over machine. Um, you know, picture you've got something in the way right here where if the boom came straight out, it, you know, this object would get in the way or this obstacle would get in the way. Well, with this articulating, it gives you that straight up and straight out capability. Um, whereas the, the straight boom, um, it doesn't give you that. So if there's an obstacle here, you might have to back the machine up or hit it from a different angle or get a different machine. Now, you'll see here shortly where the, the telescoping actually has an advantage is when it, it can get totally horizontal to the ground and it has longer reach than this uh, articulating or Z boom will have uh, when, you're, when your uh, basket's closer to the ground. So you get more reach over here horizontally. Uh, this one's got kind of the up and over. Um, but yeah, I'll get you in, get it into those positions and, and you'll uh, be able to kind of wrap your head around better what I'm talking about here. Okay, so now we've got these machines pretty much all the way down horizontal um, to see how far their horizontal reach is. It, now, you can see, here's where I think the, the telescoping or the straight boom has a major advantage versus the articulating, is uh, how far out it can reach horizontally. You know, if there's wet pavement or, or wet cement or, or what have you right here, um, you can get right over it being far away from whatever you're working on. Whereas this machine here just doesn't give you quite as much reach. Um, you know, going back to earlier, it does give you the, the up and over when, it, when it's up in the air, but when it's down and, and you're working lower to the ground, um, the telescoping definitely gives you a little bit more mobility here uh, than, than the articulating does. Um, I believe, and I'll, I'll look this up later, but I believe the, the 40 straight, this one right here, uh, gets you about 25 feet horizontal. I'm not sure what the, the uh, articulating is, but by the looks of it, uh, I'd say a good 10 feet shorter. All right, the final thing we're gonna demonstrate is um, the basket swivel that both of these machines will do. Uh, a lot of people think that when you say articulating, you're asking does the basket twist from side to side. Uh, here's what, I'm, what I mean. This, technically, yes, it is articulating, but almost all boomless do this. So this isn't really a, doesn't uh, mean that one is articulating or not. They, all the baskets are gonna swivel, but this is what, uh, this is a, an example of a basket. Okay, so finally we've got them down into the stowed position. This is, I guess, as if, or I should say shipping position, as if you were going to ship them. Um, a lot of people think that the, the knuckle boom, the one uh, for the one right here, is a good bit shorter. And, and I guess it is a few feet. Uh, you basically, you lay the bucket down so you can strap it down to the deck. Um, but as you can see, it's not much here. It's, it's maybe a yard, maybe a few feet, four feet, maybe. Um, now, obviously what I did, I, I matched the tires up evenly. So, um, the, on the S40, it's got a little bit of a, a butt hanging over the back of it. Uh, and the, and the, uh, Z45 does not have that, but, um, I'd say overall in stowed position or, or 
transport position. Um, there's not a, to a ton of difference here. Um, the, uh, the Z45 is a little bit heavier. I'll look the specs up on that and give those later. Um, the S40 is a little bit lighter. That, that's this one, the straight boom. Um, but as you can see, uh, the articulating or the Z45, the one over there, is a little bit shorter, um, takes up a little bit space in your in your shed or on a truck bed or trailer bed. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, please comment below and uh, subscribe to our channel. And if you've got any videos you want to see, give us some ideas. We'd be happy to make some more videos for you.